This is a video on saying no and stress. So uh, I just done a stress workshop, pretty uh, standard fare for me. Um, yeah, I've been doing those for like nine years. Saying no is something that comes up a lot. I mean, this comes up in lots of different contexts. Um, why does it come up in stress workshops? Well, um, when people have difficulty saying no, um, they get more stress. Why? Because they get work piled on them. They taste, say yes to things they shouldn't, then can't deliver. They drop balls, they get in trouble. Uh, they break in relationships, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You know, overwhelming themselves, working late in order to do things they've said yes to, um, resenting things that they've said yes to because they shouldn't have said yes to them. Um, so what, what do I mean by not being able to say no? Like, it's easy, right? No, you can say the word. Uh, well, the problem is for various reasons, partly cultural, partly gendered, partly personal, very common amongst English women, for example, uh, people have taken on a way of being, we'd say an embodiment, a way of being where they're more yes than no, more yin than yang, kind of Chinese model. Um, that means the whole structure is like, hi, how can I help? I want to be nice. And, you know, it's great they want to be nice. It's great they're helpful. That's, that's a beautiful thing. They're doing the best they can. Um, and the other side, of life yeah so what do we do what do we do if someone has this because it's stressing them out it's burning them out it's damaging results relationships etc um well they need to practice all right they need to find that the centering exercise we do that way of being uh where you breathe you find your feet on the ground you find that sturdiness to be able to say no and no in a way which feels assertive rather than aggressive or wimpy i sometimes get people to actually contrast those an exercise you have someone's walking towards you when you feel in your body they're, they're closer as you would like that's important the feeling you then say the wimpy note, it's like no, and then the aggressive note, no, like no one fuck you, and then no the assertive. Now, we're not literally teaching people to just say no. Obviously, in life, we need to be more conversational. We might want to explain, but, you know, it's just having them not to have the body of an apology, not to um, kind of be like, no, but if you're pushy, I'll, I'll back down, you know. Um, so really teaching people that clear no. Um, obviously, there's uh, forms which can help you doing the more yang forms like martial arts or stronger forms of yoga. Sometimes get people practicing no posture from embodiment yoga. Just Google no posture. It'll come up or embodiment yoga, no posture. Um, plank you know the kind of firmer kind of postures feeling one's boundaries weightlifting can be good for that um yeah you can actually put that in the body in the system sometimes you get people like playing games like um someone's job at home or in the office to like ask cheeky things like hey can you make me a cup of tea and like to, even as a joke getting people in the habit of saying no make your own tea yeah whatever it is so saying no critical stress management skill uh something that can be practiced uh both interpersonally in the body uh finding that balance of being assertive this is a practice um, um, super, super useful for people.